In this video, we will discuss the calculations of carrier concentrations in a uniformly doped semiconductor under equilibrium conditions. In this calculation, we assume the semiconductor is non-degenerate, so that we can use the n times p equals ni squared relationship and the total ionization of the dopant sites. The intrinsic semiconductor concentration ni has been calculated and plotted and is a known quantity. Also, the total number of donor items or sites per cubic centimeter Nd and the total number of acceptor atoms or sites per cubic centimeter Na both appear in the charge neutrality relationship, are typically controlled and determined experimentally, are also known quantities. So, under the assumption of non degeneracy and equilibrium conditions, we first use the NP product relationship to get the expression for P then substitute this expression into the charge neutrality relationship. After solving the quadratic equations for n, we then reach the final expressions for both n and p. Note, only the plus roots have been kept in the n and p expressions, because physically, the carrier concentrations must be greater than or equal to zero. The n and p expressions are general case solutions. In the vast majority of practical calculations, we usually simplify these equations before substituting in numerical values for nd, na, and ni. Now we will study four special cases that are of more practical interest. The first special case is an intrinsic semiconductor. In an intrinsic semiconductor, there is no doping, so Na and Nd are zero. And the general case expression for N and P will be reduced. We can then get N equals Ni and P equals Ni. This is, of course, the expected result for the equilibrium carrier concentrations in an intrinsic semiconductor. The second special case has the greatest practical interest. The unintentional doping levels in silicon are such that the controlled addition of dopants routinely has Nd far greater than Na, or Na far greater than Nd. The intrinsic carrier concentration Ni in silicon at room temperature is about 10 to the power of 10 items per cubic centimeter. On the other hand, the dominant doping concentration Nd, or Na, is usually greater than 10 to the power of 14 items per cubic centimeter. Thus, we can see that Nd or Na is far greater than Ni. This special case is the euro case encountered in practice. If Nd minus Na is approximately equal to Nd and far greater than Ni, then from the N and P general case expressions, we get N approximately equals Nd and P approximately equals Ni squared divided by Nd. Alternatively, if Na minus Nd is approximately equals Na and far greater than Ni, then we get P approximately equals to Na and N approximately equals to Ni squared divided by Na. The third special case is called a compensated semiconductor. From the general expressions of N and P, we can see that donors and acceptors tend to cancel each other. Actually, it is possible to produce intrinsic-like material by making Nd minus Na equals zero. In some materials, such as gallium arsenide, Na may be comparable to Nd. When Na and Nd are comparable and non-zero, the material is said to be compensated. If the semiconductor is compensated, both Nd and Na must be retained in all carrier expressions. The fourth special case is when the intrinsic carrier concentration Ni is far greater than the net doping, the absolute value of Nd minus Na. As we know, systematically increasing the ambient temperature causes a monotonic rise in the intrinsic carrier concentration Ni. At a sufficiently high temperatures, Ni will eventually equal and then exceed the net doping concentration. If Ni is far greater than the absolute value of Nd minus Na, the square roots in the general case reduce to Ni, and both N and P approximately equals Ni. This means that all semiconductors become intrinsic at sufficiently high temperatures. In summary, the general case expressions can always be used to calculate the carrier concentrations if the semiconductor is non-degenerate and the dopant sites are totally ionized. The simplified relationships in the second special case is of greatest practical utility. Thank you for watching. Please continue to the next video in the playlist.